Welcome back to my YouTube channel dolls. My name is called Tabith Giselle. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to all my existing subscribers. I hope everyone's doing fine and thank you so much for joining me in this video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my at-home waxing um, you know, video. I'll be only showing you guys how I wax my armpits because we've got to keep everything else, you know, private and confidential. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really like waxing and doing waxing treatments at home because it saves you money and also it's super easy like on certain obviously parts of your body. Some I would suggest to go and you know get a professional to do it but armpits tend to be quite like the easiest part for me to um wax um at home so i hope for other people that do like these kind of videos you enjoy them please share them with someone um i hope you guys enjoy it and i'm not gonna talk any more in this video i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video and thank you so much for your support i love you guys and let's get started guys to start off my waxing tutorial you're going to need some wax I am using this beet oriental wax um, and it's got essential oils and floral and vanilla fragrance um, for me it was quite sensitive so I didn't experience any irritation but if you do have irritation then please um, get one that doesn't have um, a lot of fragrances as you guys can see that is the spatula that I'm going to be using to scoop out the wax and these are the wax strips that um, the box comes with so I'm now going to like heat up the wax and this is what it looks like once it's heated up I put it in for about 30 seconds and then what I did to start off waxing is you want to make sure you wipe off um, any products or any residue on the area that you're going to wax so I'm just wiping over my underarm and making sure it's really nice and dry and then I'm going to pat it dry with a, a paper towel so that it's really really nice and dry and not wet whatsoever this just helps so that the wax can catch on easily to the hairs so what I first do before waxing is I test it out on my the back of my hand to see how warm it is and then what I actually did was I go in now and then I apply the wax um, what you want to do when you do apply the wax um, strip is to really really nicely press it in so that it really catches onto all the hair and it comes all in one go um, you know for the most part of it anyways so that's what you want to do you just like spread it out nice and evenly and then go in with the wax strip really really nicely press it in um, like nicely firmly down and then what you want to do is when you are pulling it off you want to tort the skin as much as possible as you can it was difficult for me because I was doing my underarms but I tried to um, basically pull my hand on the other direction so that the skin wouldn't like fold and all of that so you really need to tort it so that you do not have any like irritations any redness or anything like that so that's my best advice obviously if you're not good at doing this and not confident to do it then i suggest not to do it at home but this is basically what that area looks like and i went from like really really hairy coarse hair to like basically looking so like hairless which is what i absolutely love and then like if i'm left with any little bit of like little hairs or straggly hairs or stray hairs rather i like to go in with some tweezer and then i just pluck those out to just make sure that you know the area looks nice and neat but it's literally got most of the hair within two wax strips so i didn't have to use a lot of wax strips because of how my hair grow, grows like it just grows in one direction which is super like easy for me so yeah that's like basically how you wax guys um again just make sure you taut the skin and make sure you do rub the wax strip nicely into the actual skin so that it catches onto all the wax and do it very quick when you do take off the wax so that you don't cause any more 
irritation um, or sensitivity to the skin um, the quicker you take it off in one go the better it is for you um, in terms of pain but it's really painless for me I've done it so many years um, like as a beauty therapist and I had so much time learning all about hair growth and all of that so I really enjoy doing this treatment at home i hope you guys enjoy the video please don't forget to subscribe and please watch the rest of my at home treatments that i have i'll put the playlist somewhere for you guys to reference to i hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one